All right, welcome for being, uh, well, welcome here, guys. Thanks for being patient. Sorry, I'm getting uh, my mind all combobulated. How y'all doing? Hi, chat. Good to see everybody here. I, uh, had my monitors go out on me, so hey, I was like, oh, no. My channel, cause it's all about me. That's right, sub to me, it's all about me. I, I thought I actually, like, lost my computer for a second. The, um, uh, monitors all died, so I had to, like, do a quick restart and then unplug, replug a few things. So we're here. Yes, we're at a rave. That's right. <laughs> I just picked some random music to get started because I was in a rush, so that way I could be on time for this game, Fishing North Atlantic. I figured it'd be kind of cool to try out a simulator again and uh, see what it's like to earn money in the Atlantic by uh, going fishing for all sorts of different uh, fish and crab and whatever else there is to do to make money. We kind of played a game like this before, uh, Fishing Barrent Sea, I think it was called. You like this music? Dude, this is just fine. Like generic holding you know hold music or whatever on the on the telephone well thanks guys for clicking and tapping the join button welcome again to all of our new members thanks for uh subscribing and uh, smashing like and saying hi in chat you guys are awesome thanks for being patient see we have the best wow. and most understanding community in the world so yeah thank you all right let's go ahead and get started here i'm going to uh let's see here i'm going to try to bring this game up and see what we can do it's my first time playing so we'll learn together we'll learn as we go and we'll get better over time. Nobody, uh, if you guys have ever gone fishing, you know, like, uh, your best time fishing ain't your first time fishing. It's, uh, it takes a little bit of practice. You know, when you're alone, it takes a lot of practice. But if you were, um, you know, on a big fishing boat, that's a little different. Uh, Manny Francis, thanks for subbing. Why, right, game's firing up now. We should be in, in just a moment. And we'll see, uh, what this game's like. By the way, it's also on sale and just had an update, too. So I don't, I don't know what there is to say about a game where it's literally just simulating fishing. I mean, I think you get what you get what you pay for if you're simulating fishing on the North Atlantic. I don't, actually, I don't even know if this is multiplayer, but this would be kind of cool as a multiplayer game. Somebody driving, everybody else working on uh, pulling in uh, fish or whatnot, or working all the nets or what looks to be also pods, too. So there's probably some big old crab fishing, too. Is this game going to start? Let's go, baby. Uh, it's on my screen, but hold on. It needs to pop up for you guys. <gasps> shout out. Sarah Wenk has become a, a subscriber. Thank you very much, Sarah, for the support. Uh, that's weird. It's not popping up for me. New subscriber shout out. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Now we'll give this a try. All right. Analytics and privacy. Let's see. You were enslaved forever to a corporation. Your life from the moment in which you're conceived to several months after your death. All profits belong to the corporation. You're simply temporarily holding on to funds. And your existence is only meager in order to generate funds for the corporation, which they then owe all of the funds in which you've earned. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. Let's get some uh, music going then. Is this too loud? Looks like my music, my sounds were also reset too, oddly enough. Oh, now the game's coming up good. All right, cool. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, we'll have to work on sound balance because uh, I didn't confirm any video mode change. I just increased the volume. Let's see, vi what's video mode? Uh, limit FPS. Let's go 60 frames. Anything over that will get a little get a little icy. Uh, let's see. Is there any motion blur? Nope. Okay. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Bob Jackson. Legendary fisherman Bob Jackson. Okay, let's see. We'll be... Uh... There we are. Ooh, is that our boat? I hope we get that boat. That's cool. Uh, let's see. We'll be a male starting with the tutorial, fast travel, and port patrol. I don't even know what that is. All right, let's go. New mission. Start of tutorial. Welcome to Nova Scotia. Oh, cool. We're in Canada, bud. You begin your career with a small harpoon boat that you've inherited from your uncle. With such humble beginnings, it will be a long road to becoming one of the legendary mariners of the North Atlantic. Swordfish are the best... Uh, best caught from October. All fish species in the game uh, can only be fished within its season. Please check the in-game wiki to learn more about the seasons. Let us not get distracted by dreams of fortune and glory. Let's start with the basics. Okay. Uh, WS to increase and decrease throttle. Oh, literally, it's just like a little fishing boat. That's crazy. We should have brought a bigger boat, I think. 
All right, so decrease throttle. Steer left and right. Okay. Brought out first person perspective. Ah, there we go. Nice. This looks good. Yes, I'm literally Gilligan. Nah, bro, we just hanging out. It's, I'm Chilligan. That's it. Yeah, literally just a tiny little fishing boat to get started. But if we go for swordfish, that could be a lot of money. Press F to stand up and move around. Okay. Oh, wow, this is like Star Citizen. So detailed. Look. Wow. Star Citizen doesn't have shininess on its chairs. Trust me, I know. Oh, this looks good. Wow, they even put foam in the water? That's pretty damn detailed. Nice. Uh, okay, move to the ladder and go up top. Oh, you have to, like, hold it. That's weird. Oh, it teleports you, and we can drive up here, too. So we're driving from the mast. Cool. I guess our fishing boat is white to start with, but we probably get to paint it later. So we just learned to drive from there? Okay. Uh, this is the map interface. You can open this by pressing the M key. Let me know if uh, everything's okay with sounds. Can I get ones in chat if everything sounds balanced with you guys? Or if I'm too loud or something? Just let me know. Uh, but ones in chat if it's about normal. T let's just say tolerable. Uh, tutorial. Using the buttons below, you can set custom waypoints to plot a route, or you can set uh, locations you previously visited, fast travel to locations. Okay. You can either dive or drive to the marked area yourself, or if you want it, plot a route to the fast travel there automatically. Oh, okay. That's cool. So red is port and green is starboard. So left... Colt taught me a really good way to know this, by the way, for those of you who are confused with port and starboard. Uh, because port is spelt with four letters just like left, you can remember it that way. So anytime you remember, uh, left and port are the same number of letters. So if you're looking towards the front of the boat, you'll know that left is port, and the opposite of that then is starboard. Uh, cod, haddock, mackerel, pollock, hmm. redfish, silver, ho silver hockey, silver hank. What is that? Swordfish, tuna, lobster, and snow crab. Ooh. Holy mackerel. That's a lot of fish. Bum, bum, bum. Look out for submarines. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to be on the lookout for a submarine surfacing uh, below us, huh? Let's see. Yeah, you go to different... I'm assuming if this is anything like fishing Barent Sea, which takes place kind of over like near uh, Scandinavia, this will have us fishing around. It looks to be, well, like I said, no Nova Scotia. And each port will probably buy different uh, fish or whatnot for different prices, and probably during different times of the year, too. Okay, um, so they want us to fast travel here. Oh, here's the wiki and stuff. Uh, logbook, summer has begun. Well, this is a little too far for us now, we're just... Go back to this. Uh, drive towards a good harpooning spot. Travel to the location marked on the map. Okay, so we gotta turn left and then fast travel. So... Alright. I guess it's not... Is there a way to pull up the map and the... Oh, wow! We're actually dressed up in a fishing uniform. Nice. We got the overalls on and the warm clothes. That's awesome. Uh, this is a harpoon boat, but it seems there's also uh, nets and pots in this game for catching crab and uh, other fish. So it seems like they've got all types of fishing in this game. So let's just kind of like keep going, I guess. Are we even moving? Barely. Bum, 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 bum. Nice shirt. Thanks, Oscar. Appreciate it, bro. Looks like we have mail in the upper right corner. What is... How do I check my mail? I wonder if we owe any money to anybody. Journal, catch, gear, sales, statistics. Here's our map. Personal data assistant. Uh, let's see. Hmm... Ah, rewards. Oh, okay. We'll actually get money for doing the tutorial. Cool. So for completing the tutorial, we actually make some cash. Yeah, they want me to pay my American Online bill. <laughs> Welcome aboard, everybody. Good to see you all here. Thanks for subbing. Welcome aboard to everybody. 
This this feels like survival on the high seas. Well, I guess we'll kind of just keep going on the map until I figure out how to use the fast travel. Oh, unless these are it. Ah, that's probably it. So how do we make fast travel work? Ah, there it is. Perfect. All right, figured it out. Go downstairs and use... E Whoa, there's other boats coming in. Cool. Uh, uh, go to the bow spirit. Okay. How do I... Uh... Oh, press F. And then ladder. Is that it? Uh oh. There's a swordfish right there. Cool. Um, so they want me to go out there, maybe? How do I get onto that thing? What the? Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Oh, you literally want me to throw a harpoon? Wow. All right, let's walk out here, then. Uh, aim towards the swordfish. Hold left mouse button until you reach full accuracy. Release. Strike a swordfish. Reel in with E. Be careful. Reeling while the fish is struggling might tear the line or snap. Okay. Oh, that was pretty close. Try that again. Pretty close. How far can he throw this? Wow, that was close too. Doesn't help that the boat's moving around. Oh, they all went away. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got pretty close. A little practice. Yeah, here we go. This will be somebody who's going to become a new member. All they got to do is get close to the join button, and then boom, I got him. Got him right where I want him. That's right, Swordfish. If you click or tap join, you can become a member now, getting access to a ton of different emotes in our members-only Discord. You guys like emotes? Yeah? Name highlighted in green. Big O coveted shout-out. Access to our... Uh, playing games with us in multiplayer. Looks like they're actually moving further away. Is there a way I can, like, go f closer? Let's see. I could just move forward a little bit. Oh, you're looking to join. Excellent. Click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. Yeah, this is how you do it, guys. This is how you get people to subscribe to you or whatnot. You just gotta kind of move in. Let's get a little closer. Whoa, not too close. All right, this should be good enough. All right, no matter what happens, guys, everybody has to spam first try in chat. People have to think I'm good at gaming. Okay, let's go for our first try, guys. Hopefully we uh, hit this one. Seems like it'll be incredibly difficult. Only the best of gamers could possibly hit the target on this. I think I'm trying to lead the target too much, honestly. Do I just go, like, straight at him? Like, I'm trying to account for, uh... I'm trying to account for, like, harpoon drop and, like... Oh, that didn't even make sense. Wow, we got him, guys. First try. Now, how do I know when it's too te too much tension on the line? Oh, there we go. There we go. No, you don't. Not so fast, big buddy. It's time to become tuna.
First try, guys. First try. That's actually a little more complicated than it should be. I was trying to, like, account for harpoon drop and stuff. I guess the key is just to get really close. Return to the wheelhouse. Catch a few more swordfish if you want, then press E to get them while they're harpooning. Uh, oh, my God. First try. For yeah, I know. The Dutch have been pleased. Booster is very happy that uh, I was able to get a fish on the first try. All right, let's get him again. Wow, that harpoon drop is, like, severe. Plus, I don't think you want to get them while they're that far out, because even if I, like... Let's see how this works. <laughs> if I got that one all the way out there, imagine reeling that one in. You want them to be right next to the boat. Notice how it said missed first. All right, let's go for one more. Too bad there's not a way to move the boat. Like, I think we're getting actually pushed by wind currents and the water, too. I don't know if they're going to come back over here. No, wait. One's coming. He's coming. Well, they didn't tell me about putting down an anchor yet. I don't, I don't know if I can do that. And if so, I don't know what the button is. But we're learning. There we go. Come on over here, buddy. There we go. All right, that was cool. Let's go back to the boat now and see what it takes to sell them. Uh, let's see, tutorial. Head to the marked port where you'll be able to sell the fish you've collected. Mission waypoint has been set on your map. Okay. But if we go to... Uh, what was the button again? M? So they want me to go here and sell, so let's... Uh, what the hell is that? Must be another boat. Let's see if this uh, AI is smart enough to drive. Uh, I guess we have to drive manually. Oh, they won't let me... Uh... Oh, yeah, there they go. We probably have to worry about fuel and stuff, too, in this game. All right, let's pull into port, boys. We did it. Where do we park now? Probably on the other side of the dock. So we have to worry about fuel. Uh, let's see. Alert. Uh, 760 kilograms of fish was caught. Okay. Dismiss. Travel to the marked location on the map. You got it, boys. All right, anyone here want a fish fillet? Yeah, that is a tiny motor for such a small... Like, that's a very small boat and a very small motor. But hey, we're starting out cheap, baby. We got we to gotta build our way up to the billions. Nobody starts with a billion dollars. You got to earn it. Well, at least normal people. At least fishermen do. All right, they want me to dock, so let's pull up. No need to go fast. Dock at Yarmouth. All right, let's do that. Fish tips. Go to the bar in town to get tips on the best spots for fishing. Okay. Fish on board. Would you like to sell your fish? Yes. Wow, we made $29,000 from three fish. Holy crap, that's actually quite a bit of money. Wow. That's a lot of money. Holy crap. That's like a new car. For three fish? That's crazy. Uh, you can buy equipment for new fishing methods in the dock. I think we can buy other fi uh, do uh, fish here, too. Let's go to dock. Let's go to the shipyard and see what other types of fish there are in the game. 
Uh, there's the Lenore, the Backstabber, the Coastern, and the Dexter. Oh yeah, these are some big boy ships for big boy fishing. So this is for getting like cod, pollock, haddock, and redfish. Uh, this one's, yep, seems like it's for snow crab fishing. This one's a bigger f boat for uh, harpooning and uh, fish line. And this is for deep line lobster fishing and uh, line fishing. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of money, so I'm going to need a lot of big O super chats. Oh boy, that's a lot of super chats. I think the coolest boat is I really want to do crab fishing. That'd be kind of cool. That's that's probably the most dangerous job there is. Don't, don't they call that the most dangerous job? Is uh, crab fishing of some sort? After California taxes, it's barely enough for fuel. Luckily, we're in Canada. We're just off the coast of Nova Scotia. The Cadi Canadians know how to fish, bud. They know how to fish. All right, let's go back and... Uh, can we upgrade our boat? Ah, we can upgrade things so we can store more fish. So let's do that. And let's do a better engine. Then let's do... Uh, is there a bigger... Can I get like a bigger fish tank? Oh, we got autopilot. Let's your boat steer itself and hold a preset course. Well, the game kind of already comes with that for now. Buoys, we won't need that until later. I think we should do some more harpoon fishing. That actually seems like a lot of fun. Especially since we earn, like, uh, a bunch of money. Can you skip engine 2 and go to straight to engine 3? I have a feeling that... Oh, okay, yep, it replaces it. Top speed, but also increase fuel consumption. Okay. Well, let's get the best engine. What's up, Nelly? How you doing? Welcome. Let's do storage number three, then. And then let's see what these are. The licenses. Oh, fishing quota. Ah. That's a very expensive thing. Okay, we can do fishing at night. Let's get a better radar. I kind of want to just pimp out this boat because... Um, it's going to take a long time till we get to see some of the other boats. I want to try to spend as much money as we can here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. 27,000. Seems like a lot of fun. Can we, like, paint our boat, too? I wonder if we can do that. Upgrade shipyard. Oh, rigging. We can rig it for... Harpooning or deep line fishing. Well, let's keep doing some more harpooning. That made us some good money to start with. Well, let's see. Skip time map. So where's map for swordfish? Oh, we have to mark it ourselves unless we find out where it is from going to the bar. Go to town. Go to bar. Tips for... Get a sword fi swordfish location from a week ago. Okay. All right, we got all the locations. Well, there's also missions, too, where, like, you can bring back, uh... Oh, yeah. Help deliver cargo to another port. Oh, let's do that. Now we're a space trucker. Uh, deliver supplies to Digby. Travel to location marked on the map. We don't have to pick up anything. All right, let's just go to the new town. Also, let's save, just in case. Just in case anything goes wrong. Good, now we got a faster boat so we can do some de delivery jobs faster. So where is, um... Ah, up there. Whoa, that's a long ways to go. Whew. We got a long, long way to go and a short time to get there. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. New subscriber shout-out. <gasps> Kelly Little... 
part of our catch and uh, release program. Thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. You are awesome. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Welcome. Well, that is a long way to go. There we go. Okay, let's uh, fast travel. Why can't I? Is there a problem with the route? Oh, will we run out of fuel or something? What's the problem? Hmm. Maybe we better uh, fuel up too, actually, now that I think of it. I don't know if we did that. Uh, how do you fuel up? Oh, maintenance. There it is. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go to... Uh, let's see, the town up north. Up north is where we're going. Let's see. History of fishing, PDA, fish types, general, deliver fish, Use ports. Driver shout out. Anything on quests? Hmm. A lot of stuff about New France. Uh, you know what? Actually, I remember in this game, sometimes you have to leave port before you can do that. Is there a way to ref clear? Ah, there we go. Let's see if we can get out of port and then we'll fast travel. Yeah, typically in this game, I can remember from the other game, they let you fast travel, but sometimes you have to be out of the port a little bit before you fast travel. Mama. Why is it called a snow crab? Uh, I, I don't snow, to be honest. I, I have no idea. Well, that's a cool boat. I wonder if we can actually... I, I remember in the other games, too, you get to see other... Uh, ships in the port too at least in the Scandinavian ones you get to see all sorts of um, like uh, gas ships or whatever like uh, natural gas and container ships that are pretty cool well, let's see if we can fast travel now We also have 12 days to go to our location, so it's not like we're going to be in a rush. 12 days, lol. They may as well just Amazon primed it there. It's probably like a letter. It's like a Dear John letter. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, we're near Nova Scotia right now. We're going to a town called uh, Digby, I think. Boom, boom. Now oh, there's another boat. Oh. I think that thing is hauling a shipment of positive pintos. That's what it is. That boat is fully loaded up with some positive pintos. So she's going real slow. Uh oh. What did that do? Oh, navigation lights and stuff. Search light. Running lights. Work lights. Interior lights. Kind of weird. You have to put your mouse over it and then you press E. You don't left click. You actually have to like click E too. Which is a little weird. Okay. Can we do any sort of fast travel? We cannot cross land though. Keep that in mind. It's, Im it's impossible. Oh my. Yeah, we're playing Raft right now. Well, this is cool. On our way there, then, we can try to find... Where were those... Uh... Oh, is this where the swordfish were? This little question mark here? There might be some swordfish out here, so on our way up to that port, we might be able to stop and... Uh... What? I found a boat available for sale. 
Okay. I guess we get more ships now. Cool. Am I doing giveaways for this game? Well, uh, we'll probably do some members-only giveaways, and if uh, I have additional keys to this, I, I could give it away. We're going to need way more members, though. we got to get people excited about becoming members so we can do some more giveaways and stuff. Plus, we're approaching holiday season, so that means more games coming out, more developer. I mean, if I get extra keys to, like, Cyberpunk 2077, they're going to you guys, so... I I only need one key to play the game, not ten. So it looks like all we got to do is go out here. You know what's kind of weird, too, is the territory's kind of already explored. I remember in Fishing Barren Sea, it wasn't necessarily open seas you kind of could like I think you could fast travel to different regions like you could you could go out to deep sea but I guess that was based on the ship you had so I think if you get a big ship you can actually uh oh wow we're getting into some shallow territory here yeah with the bigger boats geez I don't even think a crab boat could come through here this is very dangerous we'll have to watch the buoys then so we know How many subs do I have? Uh, I had one earlier. It was a meatball sub, and it was just too tasty, so now we're back down to zero subs. I also had a nuclear sub, too, but that was accidentally... Uh, there was a mutiny on board, and... Well, we're, we're still hunting for that ship. We'll find it soon, I'm sure. Uh -huh. To stay in good water, stay between the red and green things? Seems so. I think that marker there is where I marked on the map. Yep, so you can actually mark territories that way. So that's kind of cool. You can know, you know, set your own custom buoys, that type of thing. Uh, depth finder? Yeah, I think so. We have all the basic equipment, like radar, radio, that type of thing. Cy Morris, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Appreciate it. Was it called Red October? I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of a... Uh, nuclear submarine in my in my person. This really looks cool. Oh, there it is. Miki. Well, maybe we can name our boats after the next people to become like Raptor Ultimate or Raptor Plus members. Because if we go back to a... Like, if we go back to a port and do maintenance, I think we can paint it that way. Do all sorts of other stuff. But we're going to need to get some cash. Woo! Wonder if we can fast travel now that we're out to sea a little bit, maybe? Or maybe not because we have a quest. It might be one of the two. The waves aren't big enough? Well, we are kind of in port right now. They, I would assume the water would be pretty calm when we're in port. It's also a clear day, and we're kind of, we kind of just did the tutorial. Plus, you can see the weather here. It's going to be pretty much nice weather for the next few days. It's uh, August 5th in the game. Looks like there's a little bit of wind. But for the most part, it's looking good. Oh, you can command everything from here. That's nice. Oh, there's our little depth finder. So 25 meters... is the current depth and our this is our range I guess ah and there's where you can see all the fish so there's an easy way to find out where the redfish are uh, haddock whatever else cool let's see quotas yep nice Oh, didn't mean to click that one. Oh, there's little uh, landmarks to discover. That's cool. Little landmark over there. This is nice. You know, this actually feels a little bit like Microsoft Flight Simulator in terms of how beautiful... If you've, if you've been playing Microsoft Flight Sim, which you should be, it's pretty amazing to see how detailed everything is in this game when you get close to the water and the ports. What is this giant... 
That looks like a giant boat. Why would they? <laughs> why would they make that the landmark? Is any here from anyone here from Nova Scotia or ever been to Nova Scotia? Any Canadians want to check in and confirm their Canadianness by confirming what a number two on the Timmy's menu is? That's the only way you can tell. Like when Canadians are returning home from abroad, if they go through customs, all they have to do is answer one very important question. That's what what a number two on the Timmy's menu is. You know, I kind of wish I could uh, look through the window with binoculars to see all the detail. Oh, you can see the Canadian flag there. The little house and the lighthouse. Gorgeous. Now this is just sightseeing. But I guess we'll go up the coast and see if we can find any more swordfish. So am I seriously not allowed to fast travel because we're on a quest? That's kind of, uh, kind of really annoying, actually. $10,000 to just, like, putz our way up there? That's literally worth one fish. Is there a way to cancel that quest? That's kind of lame, actually. Like the fact that we can't go any faster than this because um, we're hauling "quote unquote" cargo is kind of dumb. Oh, missions, port delivery. Is there a way to abandon this? Reputation with Yarmouth would be improved. You need autopilot to fast travel. Really? Because we were able to do it before. You need to get further out to sea. Yeah, but I used to... Uh... Hold on, let me do one thing real quick. Let's test. Let's do a quick save here. And I want to see if canceling the mission allows me to fast travel. Since some people were mentioning that in chat. Let's see real quick. Cancel mission. Oh, and now magically we can fast travel. Well, that's really dumb. <laughs> Delivery cancels the fast travel? Well, that's not really fun. All right, well, let's go find some swordfish then. I'd rather do fishing. There we go. There's some swordfish down there about a week ago. Let's go down this way. Yeah, I don't really like that. That's kind of kind of lame. To not be able to fast travel? That's kind of silly. Well, let's go do some uh, swordfish fishing. Ooh, now it's nighttime. Cool. Uh oh, someone else is here. Let's hit him with the high beams and scare him off. Actually, we gotta go a little bit further. All right. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get underway and see where the fish are. Look for seagulls. Oh, okay. They indicate where uh, fish are, huh? Well, this information is about a week ago, a week old, so I doubt they're still, like, in the same exact spot. Where else is there for... Oh, there's a location out there for tuna. This is swordfish, so that's where we want to be. Looks like there's a few ports, too. I see... Uh, one, two, three, four. What looks to be five, six ports, maybe? Well, the fish radar helps us to find what's underneath, but uh, for harpooning, they have to be on the surface. It might work, though. Let's see. Yeah, the 10,000 is a great way to... Uh, that's a really good way to make more money. Is that is that a swordfish there? I can't tell. Transporting stuff's a great way to do the you know missions and stuff, but for fast travel to be disabled, it would it would take a million years to get there. Maybe I could signal the swordfish with one ping only. Is that a way to? Oh wait, what's behind us? That's not a little boat, is it? What is that over there? Holy crap, this is beautiful. What's up, cue ball? How you doing? Yeah, you can do net fishing in this game, line fishing, pod fishing. 
You can fish for all, all sorts of different deep sea fish, including crabs, lobster, and um, sword, uh, like harpoon fishing with sword, swordfish. I guess that'd probably be the only fish worth catching. Oh, really? Did they, like, spawn me right on top of the swordfish and I didn't notice? Bomb, bomb, bomb. Wow, look at how beautiful that is, though. That's gorgeous. Let's take a little picture. That's pretty. That's a Bob Ross sunset right there. Bobbert Ross would be painting that one. Gorgeous. I wonder... Yeah, I still wonder if I can get, like, binoculars to see. You know, that dot might actually be a buoy. Oh, that seems to be another boat up there. Okay. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Getting hard to see at nighttime, though. I think we can just fast travel to uh, wait it out. Oh, damn, the sun is going down fast. Looks like this game, in-game minutes last about maybe about the same time. No, about 10 seconds or so. Let's see if we can turn on navigation lights and stuff. What is that glitching? It's weird. Yeah, let's turn on the spotlight. Now, it said they were behind us. Eh, maybe we'll just become a pirate, start attacking other fishermen. If we get to 300 likes right now, I'll attack the other ship with the harpoon, but you got to make it worth it, chat. What, what's in it for me? If I'm going to go to prison, you guys at least got to show me some love. I wonder if we can board this other vessel. Well, I guess they probably marked, uh, I guess they marked, swordfish here for, like, deep sea fishing, but not for harpooning. I was really hoping to, like, do some more harpooning. That was kind of cool. That's all right. We'll pull this guy over. Alright. Well, if we can't score a swordfish, I guess I'll just become a pirate. Woo! We got a big one, boys! That's a big one. There we go. What's this guy even doing? He must be doing harpooning, too. See, he ain't got nothing else on board. <laughs> jump on board? Yeah, I can't even jump in this game. I don't even know if we can fall off, can we? I don't want to try that. It would be a big pain in the neck to get our ship back if that happens. Okay, well that's what happens. There's nothing. Oh, there's binoculars right there. I can't use them, though. Out of my way, buddy. Oh. That's fine. We're insured. It's fine. Okay. Well, that was a bust, I guess, for at least uh, surface fishing. Let's see. Uh, fast travel to the lighthouse. Destination top speed at 22 minutes. Oh, really? 
Well, that's cool. Now we can fast travel to landmarks. Okay, so uh, finding lighthouses. Oh, that's a that's that's another thing I remember from the other game is. If you have a bigger radar, it helps you to unlock landmarks, which then allows you to fast travel. So, like, once you've discovered a location, you can just fast travel to it. So, like, if we click there, it'll just automatically allow us to go. But since we have never been to Digby in the north, we have to kind of, like, we have to drive there manually. Right-click for binoculars? Let's see. Oh, yeah, that works. Although they kind of, they actually kind of suck. That that's all you get. Okay. I think we have a big radar, don't we? Uh Yeah, we bought the biggest radar, that one there. For this little ship. Okay, well let's go do some actual fishing now. I think we've got the hang of this. Um On second thought, I wish I would have gone like with other type type of line fishing or something like that. Let's you know, actually, let's do that. Let's 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 do a restart and ch let's see if we can like change our boat to actually do line fishing. Because I don't think I have enough money to do that. So let me start a new game now that we've done the tutorial, and let's try to actually. Because I know you can actually uh, fish and then like uh, actually gut the fish too, which is kind of cool. Well, let's do that. We'll go. Uh... Wow, was that actually like thunder? Yeah, let's begin the game here. So now we probably get to buy our own stuff, so let's redo our ship then. Oh yeah, they started us with 30,000 bucks, nice. We actually get more money than last time. Okay, let's do, uh... Upgrades. Let's... Oh wait, we have to switch our type. So rigging, let's go for deep line rigging. Then let's go for... Let's see... Oh, now, now we got $15,000 remaining. Well, let's upgrade storage a little bit. Let's get a better radar. Let's get the best one. Yeah, you can hire staff, too. I don't know if you can do that on the small boat, can you? Well, let's, let's see if we can hire somebody. Can we hire somebody on the small boat? Or higher. Oh boy. These people are really expensive. We're gonna have to take a few trips. That's right, I'd rather do it all the first time myself and then hire somebody. Jacob with the five. Sorry I couldn't give much, but I love your vids. Keep it up. Thank you for the support. That is awesome. Let's get some hashtags. Jacob be in chat for his lovely support. Thank you very much. Get those hashtags going for our supporters. Alright, let's spend the rest of our cash, and then the second time we come back, we'll hire somebody else. Or what we could do is we could also take out a loan. Could take out a little loan. Pay it over two years. Okay, now let's try to hire somebody for our crew. We'll just hire somebody cheap so we can see more of the features and stuff. And then, let's see, onboard. Okay. We'll start with one person. Fishing gear. Buy deep lines. So let's buy like maybe 10 of the. Well, it looks like we can buy 8. Okay, let's get fully stacked with deep lines. And we need to buy bait. Oh, what kind of fish do we want to go for? Oh, is there a way to set all or no? Looks like we can go for herring or squid. I think herring is probably the best. Oh, we can set it this way to do all. Jordan, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Appreciate that. All right, we'll start with herring. That's pretty easy. Wait, you have to do it for each? 
Oh, no, I did. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we're maxed out on deep lines. What else is there? Ah, we can get better binoculars. Nice. A leather monocle. Nice. That's cool. You can actually upgrade. Nice. Mm, better gutting. This is going to give us a lot more money. Let's see. Ah, bigger fish. Good. All right, we'll keep a little cash to pay our people. Uh, don't we have to buy food or something, too? I thought we had to, like, feed our people or something. Maybe not. Oh, services. What's that? Insurance or rescue? Nope. Maintenance. All right. Change name. There we go. We're going to go ahead and call this one the... Uh, There we go. All right, boys, I think we're ready to go. Uh, wait, first let's go to town and see if anybody knows where there's some uh, swordfish, tuna, or redfish. Eh. We'll just get on the fish finder and see if we can find it. Alright, let's go! Alright, we'll experiment. It's been a while since I played this game, but it's pretty much the same. I've got pretty much um, all the experience from the other game, from uh, Fishing Barren Sea. This game actually is a lot of fun if you had uh, multiplayer. Like if you could have a friend, you know, steering around and then somebody else setting lines, and then you can gut fish together. That that makes it a lot of fun. Herring is for tuna. Well, it says that we're actually, uh... What are we set to do? Yeah, we have who? Wait, where's Tuna now? Did we check for Tuna? I bought all the advice. Where is it? I guess if anything bites, we can at least, you know, sell it. Oh, there it is. Let me get out there yet. Bum, 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 bum. It's like over here, right? Bum, 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 bum. Now, how do we set the crew up to do stuff? I forgot all about that. I guess we'll get there first, and then we'll see what we need to do. Okay, let's stop here for a quick second. Uh, let's see. How do we manage the crew? No missions. General crew. Attributes. They can cook. Oh, that's where I, that's why I was thinking of cooking because they can actually cook for all your people. Cooking, freezing, long line hauling, hand gutting, machine gutting, net hauling, repairing, stacking. Bait and setting pots, sorting crabs, crane operations, and deep line fishing. And then you can see how each of them performs at each job. 
So what would that be under? Ah, okay. So we can have this guy prepare our gear. And then we can start setting pots. The hell is that thing? Oh, nothing. Okay. Nice. So then we can check the fish finder. Can we not, like, switch between modes? Where's another screen, then? Bum, 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 bum. I guess we'll just do it with this mode. Okay, so we got swordfish in front of us. Alright, he has seven more gear to prepare, so we can just kind of sit here for a little bit while he's... He's preparing all the gear now. We can actually do this here... If you want to do this yourself, too, and save money, you can do all this stuff... Uh, manually. I can remember this from, um, from the previous game, too. We can also murder him, too, and then go venting, and then we might have to call an emergency meeting, which is kind of sus. So this is a way where you can haul the lines in. Like, you grab them with a the stick, then you put it on here, and then it hauls them in. Isn't there a, a way to do this yourself? Oh, actually, I think he's ready to deploy it, so we just give the order. So once once we say okay, he throws it overboard, and then he goes for the next one. I forget how to say it, though. Probably this option. No gear is currently deployed. Rescue. No, no, no. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. See if there's a hot key for this. Key bindings. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Trawl. Okay, there's trawling. Okay. Order mastery. Panning searchlight is with up and down arrows. Okay. Or no, there's nothing for that. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, save that. Yeah, I'm just trying to see what I need to do to give the order to throw stuff overboard. Primary, quarter mastery, min mini game action. Scanner. Port thruster. Oh, wow, there's even port thrusters and stuff. Holy crap. All right, let's keep an eye on the fish finder, and we'll just kind of... Eh, let's just practice. We don't have to get it right the first time. We'll learn. Bom, 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 bom. So we're looking for tuna. Hopefully we can find three or four now. We're going to need all that money. Oh, there it is. Set deep line baited with herring. Press R. Got it. Bum, 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 bum. Let's give it a spin. Casino streamer with the 50 euros. I used to like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 when I was young. Now I want to play something similar. Would you recommend giving it another bash, or are there better titles out there? Cheers for the content, mate. You know, it's good you asked that. There's actually... Uh, Planet Coaster is coming out within the next, like, two or three weeks for consoles. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 is amazing, by the way. There's the new uh, complete edition on Steam and Epic Game Store, which is like um, it's mo you know it's modernized for modern systems, so it's not a pain in the neck, um, and it's really great. It comes with all the DLCs, so if you've never played it before, go buy the new one. Um, so yeah, Age of em uh, sorry Age of Empires 3, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, all these great classic games are coming back. Absolutely recommended. But I would recommend Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster. Parkitect, and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 if you're really wanting to do some park building. Thank you very much for your gargantuan support, by the way. Let's go ahead and give a hashtag to spin in chat. Let's get some hashtag spins from everybody watching. You guys are awesome. 
have I gone deep sea fishing before? Uh, not in real life, but definitely in this game I've done it before. So this is uh, kind of familiar territory. What are those? Is that is that what we're looking for? What does tuna look like? That's it. That's what tuna looks like. Thank you very much uh, for the support. Also, how do we set lines? Isn't there a way you can set lines for depth? Here's some tuna coming up now. How do I how do I tell them how deep I want the lines to be? Because there's some tuna right there. So we want to time the drop for like right here on the left side. I don't know exactly how to change the depth of the line. It's just auto depth, really? You don't just drop them? I thought there was a I thought you had to set the depth in this game. Or was that the other game? Did they change that? Was that ever a thing? Alright, well let's uh, give the order then. There goes our first one. So basically what happens is we set these lines and then we circle back after a little bit of time and then we basically pick them up when they turn green. There's kind of like a perfect, there's like a perfect um, timing for picking them up for different types of fish. Yeah, we're dropping depth charges right now. Oh, here comes Tuna here. William, thank you very much. Swordfish is where the money is? I completely agree with you. Uh, I wanted to go harpooning earlier, but... Um, I couldn't find any more swordfish after the tutorial. I guess pro tip, if you're going to go uh, into the tutorial, make sure you get like full of swordfish before you go back to base. Bom, 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 bom. All right, we'll just take it slow. I like this view a little bit better. You can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, blue is when it's perfect to lift, yeah. It basically turns, like, red. Well, it starts out red, then it goes, like, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then back to green. Oh, we can actually set deep line. What is... Oh, a hole is to pick it up again. No, we don't want to do that. We're just going to kind of go in a straight line for a little while. Seems boring, but this is how your uh, fish sticks are made, kids. Or at least one of the ways. Bom, bom. Oh, got another tuna coming up. Ooh, two of them. All right. We're going to hit this area. You also want to spread them out a little bit, too, don't you? You don't want them, like, interfering with each other. You don't want to be too close together. I mean, you certainly want them to be close together in terms of, like, you know, where the schools of fish are, but you don't want to drop one and then drop another one right on top of it. It'll, it'll hurt the performance of the line. How are you editing the video when it's live? Have you ever been asked that? Well, this is a live stream, but if I release a video during a live stream, it just means that it's been edited ahead of time. Some things can be... You know, like when you're watching a show on Netflix, it's they're not live streaming it. It's not happening in real time. They, they did all that stuff ahead of time. So it's the same as if, like, if you're watching a movie on TV and then suddenly there's, like, uh, some breaking news about... You know, that you become a member today for clicking and tap and join for only 99 cents or something like that. Then, you can actually uh, see the difference between live and pre-recorded stuff. Oh, right, there's some good tuna right there. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Although, I can't control the spotlight. Maybe the spotlight doesn't turn. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. 
So I think what I should do, by the way, I, I remember when I played Fishing Barrent Sea, one of the fun things to do in that game is to kind of cheat a little bit, where you just basically hack in all the money so you can take a look at all the ships and how they work. Like, that's really exciting, and that's one of the appealing things about, like, Microsoft Flight Simulator, where you can take any plane you want and go anywhere you want, and you're kind of unrestricted. So this game's fun is all about working the economy and earning money legitimately, but one of the things you want to do is, like, you know, have all the money to start with and see how all the ships work and test out all the different techniques so you can get used to it, find out which one's your favorite, and then l earn money legitimately to go for those actual techniques. So if you're all about, like, uh, crab fishing and you just want to do crab fish, you know, you can totally bypass the whole uh, deep sea fishing, you know, harpooning and stuff and just go straight for the, uh, the crab fishing. Because that's a lot more fun, if that's what you're into. Uh, yeah, the, um, well, I set my hotkeys. Oh, there's our knife. I set my hotkeys to be Q and E to control the, uh, spotlight, but it doesn't seem to be working. All right, where we got some tuna here? Come on, boys. There's got to be some tuna. There's one. How do you know when to drop the line? Uh, you're... On board, we have like a fish finder that's sending out sonar signals. And based on the size of the fish, they can kind of guess what type of fish is below us. But the fish are always moving around. So basically what you want to do is like we're looking for the tuna right here on my my pointer. So if we pretty much drop it anywhere from like here to the far left side, you can basically bait them in. You don't have to be perfect. You just got to be close. Or if you take a deep breath, you can just smell them like... Yeah, and then you'll know the right time is right about now. So hopefully we'll go for that fish. So once all these lines are baited and stuff, then we just chill out and then come back a couple hours later. These types of games are good, though, because this is like... I don't know. I just like these games where you earn an honest living. But I find this to be... Uh, a little bit more rewarding than games like Farming Sim or whatnot, because, you know, you kind of reap what you sow. As we're in this game, it could all be based on luck. Like, you could have all the right equipment, and you can have the biggest boat and all the money in the world, and just because you dumped off a bunch of pods doesn't mean you're going to come back with, uh, you know, $3 billion worth of crabs. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think the, uh, well, the weather for the next few days in the game is going to be pretty calm. So I think, to be nice, the game gives you a few days of very calm water and then eventually it gets really rough. I've been in some crazy seas in this game before. And when I say this game, I mean, like, this is the... It's kind of like the Canadian version of Fishing Barrent Sea, which is kind of the Scandinavian version of the same game. But it's really peaceful. I do like the fact that you can... Um, you know, you can either operate this game as a small solo operation, you know, like a family business, or you can go for the big O Fish Co., a division of Walmart brought to you by Comcast, sponsored by EA, a division of Coca-Cola, and just go all corporate fishing if you want to. Because remember, kids, corporations, they care about you. Remember that, guys. They care. No, they truly do. About your money. Uh... Do you have to troll, like, at four knots to drop lines? No, but it makes it a lot easier if you're kind of just going slow and watching the fish finder. Right now we're at about half throttle, so... You don't have to go really fast when you're fishing. High-speed fishing. <laughs> well, I guess we've done that in Sea of Thieves and such before. That's for sure. All right, I think what I'll do is I'll circle back and, uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 there's some tuna coming up. Is there a giveaway... Uh, there's usually a giveaway for members and such. So if you want to become a member, just smash the join button. It's a perk for everyone who becomes a member. I usually drop extra game keys and such on the Discord. Well, it looks like there's actually two tuna here. One at the very bottom. We'll drop one uh, in about a second. And another one in just a moment. Oh, 
don't think that sound effect needs to be too loud like that. They need to balance that out. Ooh, we're getting into some really good territory now for these tuna. Bum, 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 bum. Bombing Crew got an update. Yeah, Space Crew is another great game. I wish this game were multiplayer, though. I really want a peaceful... I, I really just... That's what I really like about Star Citizen and uh, other games like that, where it's not so much about... Um, it's not so much about war or winning. There's no real winning. There's just doing. It's about procedure and such, and the, the more correctly you do a procedure, the more likely you are to get money or something like that. That's why games like Euro Truck and ATS are fun, but there's never really, um... Kind of hard to, like, work together as a group in that, because it's a little more difficult without heavy mods to share funds. So that's why this game would be really fun to have somebody throwing pots out into the into the ocean or whatever, or a few people working together. Imagine that, an MMO fishing game. How come we don't have, like, an MMO, um... Like RPG, where you can be like a trucker or a farmer or a logger or something like that. How come we don't have those games, dude? I want to play those games. All right, let's circle back. I should sing some sea shanties. Um, I don't know of any, I think. Well, the good thing about simulators is that it allows you to do everything with minimal training. So if you... The cool, the greatest thing about simulators is this. You can go into the London Underground and become like a driver on the tube. Then you can become a pilot. Then you can become a fisherman. And you can run your own farm. Then you can meet up with your friends in space all within like the same day if you want to. I really am getting excited for the... Uh, what is it? Odd... Uh, forget the name now already uh e oh no sorry elite dangerous i think it's called the odyssey update or whatever i'm really just excited for more games to be more like star citizen where there's just um it's not so much about doing what the game wants you to do it's more like a hey here's all the things you can do and go have fun like we don't we don't really have a game about earth where you can do that i think eco comes close if you guys have ever played eco it kind of it's kind of like minecraft except you can kind of pick your own jobs so if you want to, you can become like a miner, or a logger, or a farmer, or you can do like uh, blacksmithing, or preparing food and stuff in Eco. And it's like you pick your own specialty in that game, and I'd love to see that in a real game based on Earth. It'd be so cool if you could get money for, you know, like you could have a truck and also an airplane or something like that. But that's why a lot of people like Star Citizen, because you can be an ambulance driver, or all fuel. Kind of cool to do that in this game too, but it takes a lot of it takes some big money to start a fleet. That's for sure. Hey, what's up, Baltimore? How you doing, dude? Serious RP servers and 5M. Yeah, I just want a game that's by default like that. I'm just trying to get a little away from our uh, thing here. Uh, is this like Deadliest Catch? Yeah, you can do uh, crab fishing in this game. I'm only doing... Uh, I'm only doing... Uh, fishing for tuna right now. I'm also fishing for compliments, so if anybody in chat wants to, uh, you know, take that one hook, line, and sink, I'd appreciate that. Uh, Pro Bloxia, the schedule for everything we have planned to do is uh, down below in the description, so make sure you check that out for our schedule. Nice boat, thanks. Look what we named her. Jahar. You have great hair, that's correct. Outstanding radio voice, thank you. Nice eyebrows you got there. Wow. Uh, Role-playing videos in GTA 5, I'd like to do those, yeah, but it's very difficult to get a lot of people together for that. I think, uh... In terms of role-playing, Star Citizen's probably the best bet that we have. 
Um, but that game has a lot of server side problems. The game itself is good, but the servers are always giving us trouble. Right, let's drop another pod. There seems to be a couple of tuna coming up, so we'll drop that between them. We're pretty close. Man, I want a game where you have to do... Uh, I really like the construction simulator games. Those are really cool. It's always fun to play a game where you start small. And then you always have to like uh, get, get enough money to get the next thing and the next thing. That's why construction simulator is a lot of fun too. We'll have to see if we can do that in the future. It's really fun when people try to do things correctly, but things always end up going wrong. Like, Construction Simulator and Farming Simulator are two games where no matter how hard we try to be immersive and stuff, there's always some sort of wacky, goofy thing that goes on. Plus, we've also, um, in Farming Simulator, we had a lot of fun, like, cutting down trees and blocking roads with them and pretending a hurricane came through town. And then we come back later and try to, like, cut up all the trees and load them into trucks and stuff to clear them out. That's a lot of fun. Is just kind of creating your own scenarios. We should go back to that game sometime. It'd be cool. Ma, 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 ma. There's a demolition a demolition simulator that's fun. We played it. It's on the channel. Uh, what was the name of the mining game that you played where the developer was always in here? Uh, that was Hydronir. Hydronir is a really fun mining game. It kind of reminded me a lot of, like, um, Gold Rush, except with more, um, it felt like Eco and Gold Rush put together. That was a lot of fun. Alright, one more tuna and we should be good. Need to see another tuna here. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I tried Construction Simulator. has a lot of controls. Yeah, there's a really gr that game is actually very well done. Uh, the last one they made was 2015, and I can't believe five years has gone by, and they really haven't made like another dedicated one for PC. I really want them to make another one and have it be very complicated and complex, but also maybe make it simple too, like where you can do an easy mode or whatnot. It's really cool to do that with people, though. Unfortunately, you can only do, like, four-player in that game, so you kind of have to do things in phases where, like, one person, just like a real construction site, one person does all the work, another person kind of has to stand around and clean up, another person has to transport stuff, and, like, the last person's kind of in between jobs all the time because there's some, you know, like, you'll finish putting tile or something on top of a house and then you gotta go get some spruce trees and so another person has to go do that. Alright, there we go. All of our lines have been baited. Good. And dropped out. Now all we gotta do is wait. So we'll kind of pick these up like this. So we'll go back to one whenever it turns blue. Looks like the sweet spot on that one might be somewhere around six hours. Uh, let's zip up this way and see what happens. Yeah, we could return to port. How long would that take us to get to? Hour and five minutes. Really? Wow, that's relatively fast. Okay. Well, let's head back to port then. And we'll, got, we'll go have a beer. Oh, it's nighttime again. Okay, how are those lines looking? Can't you sleep on a fi uh, uh, on a ship? You can, but I want to try to get some uh, maintenance and stuff done. So we'll probably buy some fuel and. Uh, What we could actually do is we could we could buy more lines to rig, but that's very um, risky to waste. I think we're going to need more storage, though. I don't know if we have... Eh, we don't have enough money for it. What we could do is switch to harpoon mode, and then we could, like, 
go out and goof around for a while, but I'm going to have to learn how this game works a little differently. Let's see. How do you sleep again? Oh, skip time. There it is. Uh, let's skip like six hours. Do you want to exit the port? Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think eventually when you get a big enough ship, you want to, like, double dip where you go out and you drop off more pods, and then by the time these are ready, you pick up more. Maybe we should do that. Although I don't have enough cash. I don't have enough cash to, like, double dip. And I think we've already taken a loan, didn't we? Yeah. We don't have enough cash, and we, we don't have any more loan, loan time, so... Let's see, uh, work lights. Here, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Not if he's paying by commission. Oh, that's true. This guy is making commission. I think he makes like 1% of our total sales. Which is not bad of all of our profits and such. Jeez, imagine what imagine if you made one percent of all sales of like Apple products. Holy crap. One percent of all sales went to you. Oh, oh. You'd be like um what was his name? Um uh boy. Forrest Gump. Remember when he uh ended up becoming like a billionaire by uh like investing in Apple? Oh, somebody's mind just got blown. Yeah, you can skip time on the uh, boat without going to port, but I wanted to get some fuel. And I like putzing around the port a little bit. You know, honestly, I, I think I like fishing Barren Sea a little bit more for its map. But that's like, that's me criticizing Earth and not the game. <laughs> Now, uh, I think Lieutenant Dan is with us now. He's on our shrimping boat. How come we can't do shrimping? How come there can't be, like, a fishing shrimp, shrimp and seas? Rescue crew member? Oh, can we actually get him off duty? Is there a way to, like, have him chill? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's see how fast this boat can actually go. Let's open her up. Oh yeah, breathe it in, boys. I have a feeling that's smoke and not water. <laughs> yeah, so I think if, if we play this again, if you guys want to see more of uh, Fishing Simulator, what I think I'll do is... It might be a good idea to just, like, play a hacked profile where I can just, like, do whatever I want just for more fun. I think you guys would agree. Once in chat, if it would be cool if we could just do whatever we wanted and, like, try out all the ships and just, like, show off the trawling boat and the, uh, the you know, going uh, lobster fishing and crab fishing. Just with, like, forget the money. Let's just see how things work. I think that would be much cooler. Wingman with the two with the shrimp burger. I don't think I've had a shrimp burger before. So they can haul, but they can't place the deep lines. Um, you can... Uh, oh, hi, Esno. Good to see you, man. Um, you can haul and you can set lines in this boat. I think all boats can do both. And then there's some boats that are um, net fishing. But I can't remember how that works. How am I finding this game? If you've played uh, Fishing Barren Sea, this is very similar. Very relaxing, very calming, and I really like it. And it really reminds me of that game. Just set in North America versus Scandinavia. 
Although I would say I think I like Baron Sea a little bit more, but that's probably because I played it more. Well, let's go get some fish and see how much money we make. You'd rather see me work up to it? Yeah, but I think for like a first look at it, just to see what the game is all about, it's a good idea, I think, just to kind of... Like I said before, it's a good idea... People really like Microsoft Flight Simulator because you can fly whatever you want. But then on the other side, people really like doing the whole economy thing. So it'd be nice if there was an option in the game to like throw it into sandbox mode where you could just buy... Any, like there, everything costs zero dollars and it's just you simulating how the job is done. So like, you know, there's a sandbox mode and a career mode. That'd be kind of cool. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, can I get a shout out for my channel? What I would say is rather than asking YouTubers for shout outs and such, which does work from time to time to get a few subs, there's no better way to get people to subscribe to you than actually like providing a lot of stuff that they want to watch all the time. So it's like every YouTube channel is like a restaurant and people come to your restaurant because they're hungry for a burger. And if you, ma if you make the best darn burgers in town, people are going to find out about that like crazy. You can put an ad out there that says come into, uh, you know, come on down to, to, you know, this new burger joint. And you can do all the advertising in the world, but what will get it, repeat customers, which YouTube is all about, is by uh, making stuff that they like all the time. So do some good work on making some good videos and people will uh, come check you out. You know, let's swing over this way. I want to check out that boat over there. I think we can get a free boat if we zip over this way. Or something. There's like a little question mark. Uh, would Medieval Dynasty be better with a sandbox mode? Yeah, because like Minecraft, you know, there's... Um, there's Minecraft creative mode, and then there's hardcore, and then there's regular mode. I just want more options. I mean, to be honest, when people go into uh, American Truck Simulator... When people go into American Truck Simulator... Uh, and they install a mod... They want to play with that right away. Like, if you download a mod, you don't want to wait anymore. You want to see how it works. Yeah, let's see where these, uh, how these boys are doing. All right, let's zip out here and see where we can go. Yeah, I hope Medieval Dynasty allows you to do more stuff in the future. I love that game. I played that I played that game 27 or 26 times at like 3 hours each. So, I'm a big fan. Something is blocking your ability to fast travel. Uh-oh. It's another boat. The cat. It's like they just spawned that in front of me and it just like was tipping back and forth. That's a big O boat. Oh, the other question mark is this uh, lighthouse. Yeah, so we discovered that. Oh, careful. So since we don't have much money, we'll just kind of have to, like, pass time and wait for the other uh, things to be ready. Oh, looks like there's redfish over there. I wonder if it's one fish or two fish or just redfish. Probably no bluefish. Oh, it looked like there was a question mark there a second ago. What was that? I wonder if there's quests that'll come up to, like, rescue people or something. Oh, that'd be cool in this game. Imagine if you could play as the Coast Guard. That'd be cool. All right, how do we, uh, wait? Is there a way to, like, wait? Let's save career again go to slot three. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that shows you how sm our boat is like a decent size, but it shows you how tiny this thing is compared to other uh, compared to other people. The clock inside the cabin will do it. Um, it doesn't look like it's working.
Go to front. Is there a different clock? Open log book. Oh no, that's the same. Oh, the clock on the wall? Oh. Uh, let's wait another three hours. The hell? That was three hours? Let's wait another six hours. What you'd want to do is you'd want to be setting more lines, but because I don't have enough money, uh, we're going to have to just wait. We'll just do six hours at a time. Isn't, isn't this how this thing has to be completely full? You're not going to like crab fishing? Oh, I, I, I liked it a lot in the other game. Let's do three hours at a time. I don't want to go too fast. I think that bar at the bottom has to be full. Can't remember, though. 17 hours minimum? Okay. Yeah, and these are at like a one day... I haven't seen them turn green at all. There's a very sweet spot to, like, pick them up. Needs to be blue. Well, I saved before we started skipping time, so if we go f too far, we can always jump back to the save and see what the, what the best time is. Yeah, blue is the best. It should turn green. I can't, I can't remember exactly how it works. One day and 12 hours is good for them. Let's see. We're at uh, one day, 18 hours. I haven't even seen them change color at all. No, we don't want to pick them up just yet. We want to wait a little bit. Still red. Oh, it must be a very thin window to pick these up. Usually it's not this picky, though. I will just jump back and see if we can find out exactly where the perfect time to pick them up is. Yahar. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa. <laughs> That is a frighteningly loud noise for no reason. After 17 hours, uh, it it turns red. I'm keeping a pretty good eye on them. Let's see. Actually, let's go into the uh, wiki and see what it says. Fishing types. Uh, tuna. Ah, there it is. Atlantic bluefin. Characteristic season. Oh, June to September. Uh oh, are we out of season? No, we're in August, aren't we? Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Is there a way to... Oh, here it is. 85% tuna. Oh, okay, yeah, that's perfect for tuna. Excellent. Okay, so we definitely got the right bait on there. Fortunately, it doesn't tell us anything about um, the time to catch them. Bluefish tuna are caught primarily on rod and reel, baited line, or in a fish trap. Um, fishing tools. Long line fishing. How to use. Oh, we've, I don't think we have that, isn't it? Don't we have the... Um, yeah, we have the deep line. There it is. Shows you how to use, but not for the specific type. Well, even if I, uh, like, you waited too long or whatnot, who cares about that? Let's just go pick up the lines and show how it works. Even if we're uh, a little too late or a little too early. It's all good. Okay, so now we can tell our, uh, worker to do this. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. So we got Rudy here. So we want him on deep line hauling, so he'll come over here. And we want to make sure the lines are on our right side now. Starboard side. So he'll basically pick up the buoy, feed it into this thing, and then it'll bring all the fish up. And then, oh, we can start gutting. So even though we might not get too many fish, I just like how it works. And I like that progress. Uh, how are you supposed to know the time if you don't get any info on that? Oh, yeah. Some people were saying 
8 hours to 17 hours? How do you guys know that? Is it is it listed somewhere? Is there like a is there a thing I can read on how to do it? Like I saw there was a wiki and stuff, but it didn't seem to give me the information I was looking for. Also, usually it makes a thing. The wiki? Yeah, I like like I just literally said, it doesn't it doesn't give you the information required. Like if we if we go and look at the wiki again, I forgot how to get there. It turns blue when it's ready. Yeah, so what I'm what I'm asking for is where in the wiki is it specifically stated what time? If you guys know that it's 17 hours, then how do you know that? If it's the wiki, then how do you know that? Where? I'm just I'm just asking so I can learn more on my own by reading the uh, where to find the information. Yes, it does. Yeah, but where? You say the wiki, and then yes, it does, but it's... Where is it listed, then? New subscriber shout -out. Valeron, thanks for seven. I'm not trying to argue. I'm just trying to say, if the information's listed, let me know where so I can see for myself, so I can plan better for future bait and stuff like that. All right, we'll wait until he gets real close, and then we'll haul the deep line. The best way to do it is just advance time one to two hours at a time. Yeah, it seems like rather than going back to port, it would have just been good if we just stayed there. No fish were caught, low population. Okay. So it's not that they were dead, we just didn't... Maybe we didn't wait long enough? New subscriber shout out. I like how it lets us set deep line again, because there's no fish on it at all. Like nothing took the bait. Yeah, in general in the wiki. Okay, let's see if that's there. So if we go to general in the wiki. Ports deliver fish crew, fish types, fish bait. I just don't see anything here that says 17 hours. It says their season. I see the percentages of what their possibility of catching them is. Here's a tutorial on how to set the deep line. It's under fishing tools introduction. Okay. Oh, thank you. Right here. The best time to haul in the pots, nets, and long lines is between 18 to 24 hours. After it is set in the water, after 26 hours, it'll start to degrade. Pots, nets, and long lines have to be picked up within 72 hours uh, after it's set out, or the crabs and fish will start to rot, and eventually your pot, uh, net, and long lines will be lost. Okay, thank you. So that is exactly where it is. So under... Fishing tools introduction. See, that'd be nice if it were listed under the fish too, just 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 so that way it's easy to find it at each section. So it looks like the best time is 18 to 24 hours, and we're but we have a we have a deep line, right? So is that different than long lines? Because long line fishing is this, and deep line fishing is this. There's a difference between those two. Crazy. Well, regardless, let's just keep uh, catching fish. So now that we know it's 18 hours, we can plan for the next one. And of course, you know, since this is literally just the first time we've done this, you just start a new game, take out a big O loan, grab somebody the equipment, and then go do it again. Yeah, these have been out for 20... actually 19 hours. So we're just a little late. Well, hopefully we get a fish. I don't. At this point, I don't really care about how many we get. I just want to see the gutting process because it's really neat in this game. If it's anything like it was in um, Atlantic, um, 
uh, Barents Sea fishing. That was that was great. Oh come on, bro! No fish! Come on, bro! Oh yeah, we already got the tips from the port. That's how we knew to to put our lines here. We were uh, pretty much in the right spot, and there was lots of tuna on the. There was a few tuna on the sonar, but the problem with that information is it's a few days old, so you got to kind of look for them. No gutting for tuna. It's a blue bag on the deck. Oh, really? You don't get to gut them? Oh. Darn it. I really like in this game when you actually get to do the gutting yourself. And you can actually, like, do the... You can pick up the deep line yourself. You can do the gutting yourself. Oh, I was hitting two buttons at once. So it didn't register it. It doesn't look like the deep line has a bite. Oh, so they can tell how much is on it by... How deep it is into the water. That's cool. Did we bait the deep lines? Yes. Actually, let me see something real quick. If we load career and do auto save, I just want to see if we can get a fish. But now, man, I wish I could do it. That is so unnecessarily loud. I really wish we could do a, um, gutting then. Quick save, Mickey. Oh. Let's see. I'm going to try this. I want to try to speed run at least catching a fish. That's all that's all I want to do at this point. Just so I can prove to myself that I got it figured out now. We'll start a new career. We'll call this one. What's port patrol, by the way? Does that mode do anything different? Alright, so let's just go quickly and do what we need to do. So first of all, let's go to the bar, and we'll get tips for tuna. Bolts patrol the area. For what? Oh, give you fines if it goes fast near the docks. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, let's hire a crew member. Welcome aboard, Rudy. Uh, we need to change... Our rigging. Oh, we need a loan. We're just going to put out some pots and then do it real quick. Bank. Oh, not repay. Borrow. There we go. Now we got some money. Oh, now they let me take out much more than they did last time. That's weird. Okay, let's go for... shop looks like they're buying tuna for 17.99 a kilogram ooh -hoo, that's very good money to start with Get storage upgraded. see. So now I just want to buy, uh, let's see, services, nope. 
Wait, did I res reset my boat? Yep, okay. Do I buy rigging through this? Okay, we did that. Fishing gear. Buy eight unbaited deep lines. We'll bait the deep lines. All eight for herring. All done. Okay, I think we're ready to go. You can actually do this relatively quickly, I guess, if you know what you're doing. And then we'll just head out to sea. You think I only baited one line? That's fine. We're only gonna pretty much set one and then we'll wait. I just wanna show uh, how this actually works now that I've kinda gotten the rust out for the beginning of the game. You know, it gets a lot more complicated later in the game too. It really becomes fun. Oh, I forgot to buy the tuna uh, info. Oh, there it is. Nope, I got it. Ah, there it was. Last time when I set the tuna, it was like up here. But now we'll be spot on. So 17 hours is how long we should wait. So we'll check that fish finder again. This is going to be awesome. I forgot how much fun this is when you kind of figure it out and get all the equipment purchased. And it's like a Home Depot commercial. Here at Home Depot, we got all the stuff you need to winterize your home. That's the type of music they use for that. Okay, let's go for... Get him on the line. And we're approaching tuna territory. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Well, thanks for your support. We got the best community on YouTube. It's always nice to everybody here. Super supportive and always being great to everyone else in our community. So thank you for your support. Yeah, seven days ago. The information's a little spotty, but we'll see. Our goal is to just catch a fish. That's all. What's up, Ryan? How you doing? Now what we're looking for is like a huge stack of fish. You'll be able to tell when you've hit like a big school. Oh, we're in some deep water now. This is about as deep as it's going to get over here. In fact, I think this is the deepest part of the map. Only deeper over there. All right, let's just start dropping some pods. We'll see what we can get. Yeah, that's right. Tuna's the chicken of the sea, so we're basically looking for a KFC right now. K-F-S-E-A.
Let's see. We'll keep circling this area to see what pops up. We're getting a few markers for tuna. Should be good. Chat's almost gotten up to 500 likes. That's amazing. Thank you, everybody, for showing your unstoppable support. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for being here. You guys are the, the best. Bum, 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 bum. Spirit Wolf, thanks for seven as well. Hey, good to see all these new subscribers coming in. You guys are awesome, thank you. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm kind of curious to see if we just sit here for like a. Uh, I feel like this isn't enough to just. Well, we might catch a variety of fish. I don't know if. Although it is an 85% chance to catch only tuna. There's lots of fish here though. Drop another pod here. All right, I'm going to circle back to one and see if we can do a pickup. Hey guys, what is what is the best type of fish? What do you guys like for fish? I really like some salmon. Just a little cut of salmon with some like rice or mashed potatoes, a little bit of green beans. Oh boy. Ooh, yellow tail. Ooh. I'm just going to do a little circle here if I can. Oh, beer battered. Ooh. Oh, good. There's lots of high population fish here. Look at that. All right, we'll go pick up one pot and see what happens, and then we'll just go sell it. I just want to see what happens. I kind of miss doing this in this game. All right, how many uh, do we have left? One more. Gator is good. I suppose. Yeah, let's see here. Let's go back to one and we'll just kind of wait it out. Okay, so let's try. How long has this one been out there? 45 minutes? Okay, let's sit for, let's try like a 10 hour. Yeah, let's wait for 
two more hours. Now let's do an hour. New subscriber shout out. I guess we could have Bob go on a break, huh? Oh wait, sorry, all the way around. Yeah, he's going to play World of Warships. Ah, still red. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, boys. All right, there we go. All right, Bob. Time to get on it. Deep line bite. Oh, we got some big old fish coming in. All right. Let's get Bob back on the line. There we go. All right, let's go pick up these lines. Okay, cool. We're going to run out of storage capacity. Yeah, if that happens, uh, that's totally fine. I just want to see what it's like to get some fish in this game and see if I can gut them, which it doesn't look like I can because usually you have to have the... Um, don't you have to have a station to do that? It's better if it's green. Uh, I think blue is the best, then green. But if we get full, we'll just head back to port and see how much money we would we would make. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this in real life, but that's why this is just a... I know it's hard to believe, but it's just a... It's... It's a... I hate to break it to some people, but this is actually just a game. What the hell? Oh, what? Oh, we have to help Bob out. Wait, what? Holy crap! That's a tuna? That Dude, that's a freaking whale! What the hell? That's huge! Oh my god! Whoa! What the hell? 600 kilograms of fish caught. Holy crap! It's the size of the freaking boat! Yeah, I know they're not small. Holy crap! Wow! Uh, where do we see our boat's capacity? Looks like we have 4,000 uh, kilograms remaining. Oh boy. Holy crap. Wow. I like how we actually have to help him out. I didn't know we'd have to do that. That's cool. But I guess if we hired two workers, then you have somebody pull the, pull the line and pull the fish. Oh, above the mini-map, we have 5,000 kilograms remaining? Yeah. Well, we have 630 out of 5,000, so yeah, we're at 4369. Nice. Growing better gardens, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome. All right, here we go again. That's crazy. Uh, let's go for more. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out.
Yeah, we're certainly going to need a bigger boat, aren't we? Well, that was worth kind of doing again. I had forgotten uh, all the little... There's little things in this game that are very important, and the tutorial doesn't really necessarily cover kind of the specifics on timing. Chat was uh, nice enough to let me know. It's kind of buried in the in-game wiki. And, you know, when you buy a fishing game, the last thing you want to do is, like, read a damn book. That's why tutorials are helpful by doing it all hands-on, to keep it interactive, because, you know, that's what gaming is all about. Oh, damn it. The bar, we're going a little too fast. Also, why do we have this light on? There. That's better. Yeah, these fish have uh, two legs. That's why they call it uh, Toonie Fish. That's right, Chad. Damn it, it won't let you hit both buttons at the same time. Like, if I press S to slow down, it won't validate E is also being pressed at the same time. There we go. That's better. These fish are ridiculously huge, and they don't... It just doesn't seem right. New subscriber shout -out. Okay, that's two. Wow. Well, we're a fifth of the way there. Now, when I press S to slow down, and then when I press E in order to try to trigger the sequence, the game only recognizes the fact that I'm throttling down, not pressing E simultaneously. You should want, like, if you're trying to do this as fast as possible, you want to get there quickly, then press S to slow down so you can throttle down and hold E at the same times. We'll see if we can get it this time. Try to slow down in advance. There, that should work. There we go. That's better. Okay, dot, dot, dot. That's like some people when they leave comments on YouTube. Okay, dot, dot, dot. Sure, dot, dot, dot. Great, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot is a really good way to, like, try to reverse everything that you're trying to say. If you're trying to be mean to somebody, happy birthday, Bob, dot, dot, dot. Good job, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh, ON336, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. All right, well, we got, uh, let's see, number five of eight to go. And then we'll just fast travel back to the port. The cool thing is, is some, uh, I think some ships in this game can actually process the fish on board. So they can, like, uh, do the gutting and the, like, I think they actually freeze them on board the ship. Which is pretty darn amazing. What? Dot, dot, dot? No, it's not. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, anytime uh, YouTube, by the way, so you guys know, the thing I thought that they would start doing about a year ago, they've started to do now where... When they, uh, when they did, YouTube's starting to now scan comments for, like, rudeness or things that might be, uh, just rude or whatever against their terms of service. And so now I'm starting to get all the rude comments filtered out where I have to read them to either approve them or deny them or whatever. And, uh, pretty much all the rude comments just have, like, a dot, dot, dot in them. You wouldn't be, you'd be surprised at how angry people get for watching a free video if it's not if something goes wrong or something I don't know people are very sensitive nowadays it's like if you got a free hamburger and you're like uh, this bun is a little dry dot 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 like what yeah, the burger was free it was a free hamburger yeah dot 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 sure dot 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 
Saw, thanks for dropping in. Have a good one. We're going to finish up with our uh, three harvests, and then we're, we're heading into the port. See what we can do. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, disrespectful comments, yeah. It doesn't really hurt me. To me, it's always like, whenever somebody's rude, I'm just like, oh, man, a missed opportunity for somebody to, like, be nice or to, like, give me, like, good feedback. Live streams are great because if, uh, if I miss something or if there's, like, a feature that I didn't discover yet or something, you guys will be the first to tell me. Um, but in a video, people get mad if you don't know something as if, like, they could time travel before you recorded the video and tell you about it. It's like, some things are just, you know, meant to be in part two. It's like, uh, you know, watching Back to the Future and being like, um, Marty, dot, 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 there wouldn't have to be a part two and a part three if you would have just done as you were told, okay? If the, if the DeLorean, okay, dot, 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 if you didn't hit 88 miles per hour, if you would have just did 87, it would have been okay. And the Libyans would have been arrested, okay? Dot, dot, dot. And who travels at 88 miles an hour in a Sears parking lot? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm, it seriously drives me nuts. I need to make a, uh, I want to make a dot, dot, dot shirt and then just donate all the money to charity. I'll have to donate it to, like, uh, some, uh, it'd be cool to donate it to people trying to learn another language or something. Like people who move to a different country and want to learn the language too. That'd be cool. It would pay for me to move to Japan so I could just order ramen. That's what it'll do. There you go. Charity dot dot dot. Yeah, see? If you, if you follow up anything with dot dot dot, it just seems like people are suspicious of you or something. It's awesome. Arby's dot dot dot. Okay. Chat, you're starting to get... You're st okay, I'm going to call Susan on you, chat. I'm, you're all going to be yellow circled if you don't behave. I'll do it. I know Susan's phone number. Dot, dot, dot. Her number is dot, 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 Karen. How much weight is left? Uh, let's see. We are at... Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. We're at four, six... What is that? Four... hell? Well, we're like four something out of 5,000. So I think we're going to have to leave a couple of these fish behind. Dot, dot, dot. 1-800 no money. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's the number. Well, that's true. We could throw Bob overboard in order to reduce the weight. Well, actually, is the ship traveling slower now because of the, the weight on board? It might actually be going a little slower now. Bye, Raptor. Nice seeing you. Thanks, Nilly, for dropping in. Has anyone... Ooh, this is a good question. Has anyone in chat ever made a collect phone call? Ooh. I don't think I've ever had to do that. Ooh, what's up, CF? You got that blue eye now. Man. It's like Colt and one other person and now you have the blue eye. It's only like three people who've been like long time, big O, crazy, like epic OG day one supporters. It's crazy. I may have seen you have it before, but I just noticed it. All right, 741 kilograms. That's like one fish we had to leave behind. Okay. Let's head home and see how much money we make. I bet it'll be less than the price of a collect call back in the 90s. You guys remember when Carrot Top did the 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -T commercials? Or is that how they went? I don't remember. Yes, chat, you're old. You made a few collect calls from jail? Well, we're not judging. In fact, the only true crime is uh, not saying hi to chat. If you're watching right now, you don't say hi to our lovely audience. Oh. Uh oh, I think we're going to have a collision. This boat's parking its ass right in the way. No, sir, get out of the way. Hey, move it, jerk. Oh, my. Sir? There we go. 
<sighs> 95,000 is what you think we'll make. Uh, we So I think the price at the time we left the docks was $17.99 per kilo. I think it was. So let's skirt, skirt into port and see what we got. Call Miss Cleo. Holy crap. Remember Miss Cleo? Call me now. That was great. That's like the only thing I re ever remember. All right. Well, if everybody does quick math, just do 5,000 times 1799 and you'll figure out how much we're about to make. You know, I also liked fishing Barrent C2 because there was like giant ships and like massive ports. This kind of just feels like small town fishing. I wonder if there's other ports that are huge. This kind of just seems really small. Like even if it would feel really out of place to bring like a giant crab boat here. Maybe some of the other ports are big. There's like seven ports in the game. Yeah, I don't know. Don't sell? Oh, we're going to sell just for fun. It's just for fun. Uh, Colt will probably one-up me on this. Been worth it, Raptor. Great to see you rocking it. Uh, keep the member base growing. Keep it up, my friend. Well, if everybody watching right now wants to become a member, dude, it's it's seven pennies every 24 hours. Literally, like if you, if you find uh, four quarters in your car tomorrow, you've paid for a month of membership, which supports me. But more importantly, you get something in return for it, which is a lot of fun. Okay, so we're at 38,320. So we sold for 90,000. Beautiful. Oh, we had a few swordfish too. Got a couple of those bad boys for uh, 14,000. Nice. Beautiful. 126,000. Can we pay our loan back now? Let's see if we can pay that loan back. Yay, we're broke. But we're not in debt. We're just broke. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Oh, wait, no. We have $36,000 remaining. Never mind. All right. Everybody gets Wendy's. Let's get Wendy's in chat. Uh, Colt with the $5.01. Just because he said so. Lol. Thanks for the support. Uh, this game is fun. I miss the fishing uh, series. Uh, I would highly recommend Fishing Barrent Sea. Like, that's a lot of fun. It's kind of a grind, but if you want a game where you feel the satisfaction of, like, grinding and you want to do it solo, that's a really good game. Otherwise, I would also recommend American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, and also I would recommend uh, probably getting, like, Star Citizen 2. CF with the $5.02 saying, I know you would. Absolutely, dude. Actually, I wish I wouldn't have paid all that back now because I wanted to see if we could buy another boat. Let's see what other boats there are. I wonder if other docks have other boats. Ah, uh, this is just a bigger one of our other... Ooh. Wait, what? Quotas. Oh. Wasn't there a thing in this game, too, where you couldn't just buy ships? You actually had to reach a quota, too? Wasn't there a thing in the other game where you had to, like, it wouldn't let you... You had to, like, get licenses or something, but it was only by... You could only get the licenses by literally catching fish. Yeah, there's more than just these boats. These are just, like, the beginner boats. There are way bigger boats in this game at other ports. This one's hilarious. It looks like it's all smashed. It looks like a little pool toy or whatever. You have to unlock other boats by finding them in the world. Oh, that's true. Well, we did find that other boat, though, on the map. Let me, uh... Let's, hold on, let's go back out for a quick second so I can take a look at the map. We did find a boat that was down here. How do you unlock that boat? It was called, like, the Blorg or something like that. We found that there. I'm assuming other ports probably have other boats, and then also you have to find some, which is a little bit like SnowRunner, which is kind of cool, too. Man, imagine if SnowRunner had an economic system. That'd be so cool, rather than... You know, delivering stuff for, um, you know, to, like, build it. It'd be cool to do it for money as well. Maybe that'd, be, that'd be cool. There needs to be more options for that in games. Good stuff. Bum, bum, bum.
Yeah, Nilly, it's been down below in the description the whole time. Just read the description. Isno with the 50 saying, Supporty for 500 likes, Raptor. Thank you very much, Isno. Isno, by the way, is a long, 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 long time uh, member of the community. Although we don't talk much anymore, Isno is from uh, Norway. And uh, he's probably been here since maybe 30,000 subscribers. Probably over about damn near the whole time I've been doing YouTube. So probably about six seven eight years i it, it all kind of blends together now so that's kind of cool all right well now that we know the basics of the game and i'm starting to get the rust out again i do remember my favorite thing in this game is probably the um like the the crab fishing is really fun in this game like it's really cool to be able to set out pots um go you know set out some go back pick up more set out another group then come back and pick them up sell come back and um set them again and then sell and you just keep going back and forth like like just running back and forth Colt, you've been here since 350k damn that's a long time too all right well i'll speak of fish i'm getting hungry let's go ahead and wrap things up here for tonight you guys have been amazing so thanks for all the big old crazy super chats welcome to all the new members too i'll leave that link there so you guys can become members and join us for uh multiplayer games giveaways and much more so thank you very much, everybody, for all the support. Thank you very much for uh, turning on the notification bell. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on. A lot of people step out without doing that, but if you do, it just means you don't get notifications for upcoming live streams and videos and whatnot. So just make sure you do that so you don't miss out and so we can do more giveaways. All right, you guys are awesome. Thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks for being patient and hanging out as always. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow for something. We'll figure it out. Always new stuff coming out on the channel, so make sure you check the schedule in the description to know what's new and when it's coming and whatnot. You guys have been great. Thanks for being patient with me. Hope you enjoyed, and definitely check out uh, Fishing North Atlantic and Fishing Barents Sea. Both games are very fun. I think you'll really enjoy them. Uh, did you ever forget the 200 subscriber Minecraft video? It's been a long time. Got to do something about that. Yeah, we, we'll have to still hold that party, won't we? It's an old school video. You know Isno's old school if he's referencing that one. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. Isno, it's good to see you. I hope things have been well, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Take care. Let's go out with some dank music. Do you got do you, do you kids like dank music? Let's go out. Let's go out with a, some good music. Let's get out of here. And let's go out with some some real bangers. Uh, was that a banger? That sounded like a banger. Now how about this game called Cold Water? That's appropriate.